Hey everyone, I'm back again. Now if you watch my other uh, videos how to uh, sneak liquor on a cruise ship without using shampoo bottles or Listerine bottles, and then my other one how to, how to sneak liquor on a, cheap, on a cruise ship rather, using, uh, using wine bottles, and then I've got how to sneak liquor on a cruise ship using uh, a case of Coke. Coke cola, you know. Now what this is, is how to sneak liquor on a cruise ship using uh, Gatorade bottles. Now, this is just your standard uh, 20 fluid ounce Gatorade bottle. Now, when you're in the store and you look at these, uh, this is something important to note. And I'll kind of bring it up here so you can see it. There's some of these where the, the lid, you know, when you unscrew it, it's got like little, like little nipples are sticking out, individual nipples. Now, these new Gatorades, and this is a Gatorade Series G Series. So you want to find one where it's just kind of a smooth transition between the top of the cap and then that little bottom seal thing that shows if it's been tampered with. And these are perfect. And the reason being is that what you do, you drink your Gatorade and then you wash it out with hot water. Now Gatorade, unlike wine or, uh, you know, or the Coke or whatever, it's not going to leave as much of a residue. So a few hot water washings and then drinking some fresh water out of it, it should be good to go without leaving a contaminated flavor in there. So you open it up, just like you normally would, and then, uh, you know, you do that, you wash it out in hot water, drink it out of it, make sure it tastes clean, and then you put your liquor in there. And uh, after you put your liquor in there, uh, have another Gatorade, the same flavor, doesn't matter what flavor it is, because that's just the color. Have another one sit right beside it, and then start adding food coloring until you get that exact match, or as close as you can, so that it would be hard to distinguish between a legitimate Gatorade and a Gatorade that had clear liquor, <laughs> such as vodka or tequila, with some food coloring in it. So once you get all that in there, just putting the top back on is not going to be good enough, because it's not going to make an authentic seal. What you'll want to do is get you some of that non-toxic, and I repeat, non-toxic kids glue, like a little glue stick. And before you screw the, uh, the top back on, just kind of the underneath the rim side of it, just coat it really good with that non-toxic kids glue, then screw it on, and with your fingers, push that little uh, security tab up if you need to, to just make a, make a nice seamless seal. So the end result, so you're going to look at this, and it's going to look like it's been unopened. And that's all you need. Also, pay attention to the fill level. Um, if you before you drink your legitimate Gatorade, see how much uh, how much room for air there is in there. Now, this particular Gatorade bottle, it has an air bubble about the size of two dimes. So you know, pay attention to that. Make it up as authentic as possible. Because if you're taking this, or whatever you choose to do with it, you want it to look like the real Gatorade. Uh, thanks for tuning in and. Uh, Feel free to check out my other liquor on cruise ships videos. Y'all have a good one. And this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't in any way encourage this. And uh, it's it's just for entertainment purposes only, and of course, for people that are that are of that legal drinking age to enjoy such a product. Y'all have a good one.